So today we will see uh, the relationship between the different terms. Uh, so initially we will go with the relationship between data science and information science. So in short, what is the data science? Data science is a discovery of knowledge or actionable information in data. Uh, and if you go to the information science, information science is the design of practices for storing and retrieving the information. So information science only uh, plays with the storing and retrieving the information efficiently. Uh, it is a design. Uh, it is a design practice for which we uh, we mainly aim for storing and retrieving the information. Uh, and data science is the discovery of a knowledge from a data. Right. Uh, so data science and information science are uh, distinct terms, uh, but they are complementary disciplines. <laughs> Data science is used in the business functions such as strategy information, decision making and operational processes. Uh, it touches on the practices such as artificial intelligence, analytics, predictive analysis and algorithmic design. So this is where our data science plays important role and uh, data science covers this complete domain of artificial intelligence, analytics, predictive analytics and algorithmic design. For information science, uh, it is used in uh, areas such as a knowledge management, data management and integration uh, design. Uh, thus, uh, mainly uh, we can say that uh, the data science is the discovery of a knowledge and actionable information in a data. And information science is a design of practicing of uh, storing, retrieving and interacting with an information. So this is how the data science and information science has the relationship between each other. Uh, now let us move ahead and see um, what is the relationship between BI and data science. Uh, more elaboratively, we can say that data science is basically a field in which information and knowledge are extracted from the data by using uh, different uh, scientific methods, algorithms and processes. It can thus be defined as a combination of various mathematical tools, algorithms, statistics and machine learning techniques uh, and these all things are used to find the hidden patterns or insights from the data and this will help us for the decision making process. The data science deals with both structured as well as unstructured data. It is even related to both data mining and big data. So data science involves studying the historic trends and thus using its conclusion to redefine the present trends and also predict the future trends. So this is all about the data science. So data science, uh, in short, what we'll say, um, it is a combination of mathematical tools, algorithms, statistics, machine learning. It is used to find the hidden patterns and insights and which will help us for the decision making process. This is the short crux of the data science. Now move to the business intelligence. Business intelligence is basically a set of technologies applications and processes that are used by enterprises for business data analysis. So business intelligence consists of technologies, applications and processes. It is basically used for conversion of raw data into meaningful information, which is thus used for the business decision making and profitable action. This business uh, intelligence deals with the analysis of structured and sometimes unstructured data, which paves the way for the new and profitable business opportunity. It supports decision making based on the fact rather than the assumption based decision making. So here uh, when we move for the business intelligent terms, we don't uh, say that we assume. Uh, in the business intelligence field, we show the figures, we, we get analysis of the data and then we tell about all the facts. Thus, it has a direct impact on the business decisions of an enterprise. So business intelligence tools enhance the, the chances of enterprise to enter a new market as well as helping studying the impact of the marketing efforts. So this is how the business and intelligence also matters to us. So if you see the differences, the data source for business intelligence is the, deals with the structured data mostly. So it is a data warehouse from where we get the data. For a data science, we work with the unstructured and structured both the data. Uh, uh, for business intelligence, uh, the method uh, is uh, mostly analytical and for data science, it is a 
scientific method it goes deeper to know the reason for the data report uh, the skills are the statistics and the visualizations are the two skills required for the business intelligence in a data science the statistics visualization and machine learning these are the skills which are important for the data science uh, when we go to the business intelligence it focuses on the both post and present data the data science focuses on past present and also predict about future so this is how uh, uh, the crux of business intelligence and data science right uh, if we move to the concept um, uh, the data science is the field that uses mathematics statistics and various other tools to discover the hidden patterns in the data business intelligence basically a set of technologies applications and processes that are used by the enterprises for business data analysis uh this data science focuses on the future business intelligence focuses on the past and present uh if i move uh, the data science deals with both structured as well as unstructured data and business intelligence mainly deals with the structured data uh flexible data science is more flexible that uh, because we can get various data sources which can be added as per the requirement business intelligence is comparatively less flexible as it, it uh, as in the case of the business intelligence data sources need to be pre planned uh, uh data science makes the use of scientific methods uh, business intelligence makes the use of analytical methods uh this data science is of course uh, comparatively higher complex than the business intelligence even um uh for the data science uh, it's expertise in the data scientist and the business intelligence it expertise in the business users this data science deals with questions what will happen and what if and business intelligence deals with the question what happened so it was related to the future this data science and business intelligence was related to past and the present so tools used uh, in the data science are like sars big ml matlab excel and in the business intelligence we have the insight squared cells analytics flip flowio uh, then we have thought spot sci-fi tipco soft spot fire uh, so they, there are different tools which are mean for the data science and then which are mean for the business intelligence so this is how uh, uh we uh, we have the overview of or the relationship between the data science and business intelligence now let us see a typical life cycle of a data science so from the image also we can see there are uh, different things uh, which comes in the life cycle of the uh, data science so first is understanding the business problem then we have data collection and then we have data preparation data modeling that model deployment so this is all about the life cycle in data science okay or we can say the life cycle which is followed by the data science project so let's see uh, these all terms one by one uh, so for uh, we first we'll see understanding the business problem so uh, in order to build a successful business model it is very important to first understand the business problem that the client is facing uh, suppose the client wants to predict the customer churn rate of his retail business so what we can do we may first want to understand the client's business his requirements and what he is actually wanting to achieve from the prediction so in these cases it is important to take consultation from the domain experts and finally understand the underlying problems that are present in the system so a business analyst is generally responsible for gathering the required details from the client and forwarding the data to the data scientist team for further speculation uh so in this case uh, in the case of understanding the business problem even a minute error is defining the problem and understanding the requirement may be very crucial for the project so here the understanding of business problem uh, in all aspect is very much important so after asking the required questions to the company stakeholders or clients we all can move to the next process right so once we have done with this understanding the business problem we can move to the next process which is my data collection process so in the process of data collection uh, what generally happens is after gaining the clarity on the problem statement 
what we need we need to collect the relevant data to break the problems into smaller components the data science project starts with the identification of various data sources which may include web server logs social media posts data from the digital libraries such as the us census data sets the data access to the sources on the internet via apis web scrapping or information that is already present in the excel spreadsheet so the data collection entails obtaining from information from both known internal and external sources that can assist in addressing the business issues uh, generally we have two sources of or uh, ways to so uh, ways to the source the data uh, we can uh, do the web scrapping or we can extract data by using the third party apis right uh, so after this data collection once we collect the data the next step is data preparation now after gathering the data from relevant sources we need to move to the data preparation so this stage uh, will help us to gain a better understanding of the data and prepare it for the further evaluation so this data preparation we generally also call as a pre processing of the data or this stage can also be referred to as data cleaning or data wrangling so it entails steps such as selecting relevant data combining it by mixing data sets cleaning it dealing with missing values or by either removing them or imputing them with the relevant data dealing with incorrect data by removing it so this is all so whatever we do in pre processing of a data say take a example while collecting the data from the students we have collected date of birth and age name roll number and all these things so in between suppose a student has missed entering the age this age can be calculated from date of birth right even we have collected so say uh, we were collecting the employed uh, employee database of for one of the company so even the salary uh, part we have collected from that employee database so suppose the uh, some few people have missed entering the salary then what can we do we can take the average of salary of all and that can be uh, given to the missing value correct similarly some data may get entered in the wrong format which has to be changed there can be a missing data or there can be some data which is very extreme so typing mistakes also can be there which can be rectified by keeping some threshold value so like this we have to clean and do the wrangling of a data correct uh, so by using the feature engineering you can create a new data and extract a new feature from the existing one so once this data uh, cleaning or data preparation is done uh, we move to the data modeling this data modeling is very very much core process of the data science life cycle in the process of data modeling we take a prepared data as a input and with this we try to prepare the desired output right so generally first we tend to select the appropriate type of a model that would be implemented to acquire results whether the problem is regression problem or a classification or a clustering based problem so what we required we required to select the appropriate type of a model in this case so depending upon the type of a data received we happen to choose the appropriate machine learning algorithm that is best suited for the model now once this is done we ought to tune the hyper parameters of the chosen model to get the favorable outcome so here we build a module either model either we build a classification model or we can build a clustering model but we build a model we, we train the model in the case of a data modeling phase so finally we tend to evaluate a model by testing the accuracy and relevance right so uh, even we uh, we tend to uh, make a balance between specificity and generalizability also so this is how my data model is created and tested and the next phase is model deployment so before we deploy the model we need to ensure that we have picked the right solution after a rigorous evaluation so later on it is then deployed in the desired channel and format this is naturally the last step in the life cycle of a data science project 
uh so uh, for example if we choose the wrong machine learning algorithm for data modeling then we will not achieve the desired accuracy and it will be difficult in getting approval also so if uh, data is not clean properly uh, you will have to handle the missing values or the noise present in the data set later on so this is how all the steps are very much important and then only we can reach to the model deployment once we are done with all the steps then only it is possible to reach to the model deployment so all the steps are equally applicable to all the data science projects so every data science project must go with data collection data processing data cleaning model development and model deployment right so this is all uh, about the life cycle data science life cycle